Welcome to Math Time with Mom Henova. So our topic for today is about theorems on radii and chords. Let's have first the objectives of today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to state the theorems that exist among chords, central angles, and arcs of a circuit, and apply theorems that exist among chords, central angles, and arcs of a circuit in solving problems. Before we proceed to our topic, let's have some definition of terms for better understanding. Chord. It is a line segment joining any two points on a circle. Example, segment or chord AB. Radius. It is a line segment joining the center of a circle and any point on the circle. Example, is the line segment CD. Diameter. It is a line segment joining any two points on a circle and passes through the center. Example is the segment AB. Arc. It is a part of the circumference of a circle. Example is the arc AB. Let's start. The first theorem is in a circle or congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. When we say converse, it is obtained from switching the hypothesis and conclusion of the statement. So, in a circle, or congruent circles, two chords are congruent if and only if their corresponding minor arcs are congruent. Let's have some illustrative examples. So in circle A, if segment JO is congruent to segment ME, then arc JO is also congruent to arc NE. Now, let's prove that arc JO is congruent to arc NE in circle A. We have the two-column proof. Left side are the statements, right side are the reasons. First statement, JO is congruent to NE. For what reason? Because it's given. Let's draw segment AN, segment AE, segment AJ and segment AO because two points determine a line. Segment AN is congruent to segment AE which is, seg which is congruent to segment AJ and also congruent to segment AO. For what reason? Radii in a circle are congruent. Triangle N A E is congruent to triangle J A O because of the SSS or side 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 for congruent triangles. Angle N A E is congruent to angle J A O. Because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Then, arc JO is congruent to arc NE. In a circle, congruent central angles have congruent arcs. Therefore, arc JO and arc NE are congruent. Let's have the second theorem. 
In a circle, if the radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord and its arc. The converse of the statement. In a circle, if the radius bisects the chord and its arc, then it's perpendicular to the chord. Now, let's have the example in circle A. If segment AJ is perpendicular to segment NO, then segment AJ bisects segment NO. Segment NO is congruent to segment EO. Now, let's prove that in circle A, segment AJ bisects segment NO. First statement, segment AJ is perpendicular to segment NO because it's given. Segment AO is congruent to segment NT because radii in a circle are congruent. Angle A, E, O and angle A, E, N are right angles. Perpendicular segments form a right angle. Triangle A, E, O and triangle A, E, N are right triangles. Because right triangles contain a right angle. Next statement is that angle AEO is congruent to angle AEN. For what reason? All right angles are congruent. Segment AE is congruent to segment AE. Because of reflexive property for congruence. Triangle AEO is congruent to triangle AEN because hypotenuse leg of right triangles. Segment NE is congruent to segment EO. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Therefore, segment AJ is congruent to segment NO. Segment by sector forms two congruent segments. Now, let's have the third theorem. In a circle or in congruent circles, two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from the center. And the converse of the statement is that in a circle or in congruent circles, if two chords are equidistant from the center, then they are congruent. Now, let's have the illustrative examples. If segment ET is congruent to segment JA, then segment NO is equal to segment NG. Now, let's prove. First statement is that segment ET is congruent to segment JA because it's given. Draw NE, NT, NJ, and NA because two points determine a line. Draw the segment NO is perpendicular to segment JA. 
we have the symbol for perpendicular. And the segment NG and ET are perpendicular. Because the shortest distance from a point to a line is the perpendicular distance. Number four. Angles J, O, N, A, O, N, E, G, N, and T, G, N are right angles because perpendicular segments form right angles. Number five statement. Segment NE is congruent to segment NT which is congruent to segment NA and it is congruent to segment NJ. Because radii in a circle are congruent. Number six statement. Triangle ENT is congruent to triangle ANJ. Because the SSS or side 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 for congruent triangles. Number seven statement. Angle J is congruent to angle T. Angle A is congruent to angle E. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Number 8 statement. Triangle E and T and triangle A and J are isosceles. Isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. Angle J is congruent to angle A. And angle E is congruent to angle T. Because isosceles triangle has two congruent base angles. Angle J is congruent to angle T. Angle A is congruent to angle E by substitution. Number 11, angle J O N is congruent to angle A O N, which is congruent to angle N G T, and also congruent to Angle N, G, E. All right angles are congruent. Number 12 statement. Triangle J, O, N is congruent to triangle A, O, N. And is congruent to triangle N, G, T which is congruent to triangle NGE because AAS or the angle-angle side for congruent triangles. Thirteenth statement, segment NO is congruent to segment NG because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Number 14, segment NO is equal to segment NG. Congruent segments have equal length. Now, are you ready to solve some problems? Let's take the challenge. Now, let's have the first problem. In circle J, suppose the measurement of arc YE is equal to 105 degrees. Measurement of arc PK equals 105 degrees. And 
The segment MT equals 8. Find the measurement of arc DK. Now, here is the solution. The measurement of arcs YE and DK are the same, which is 105. That's given. The measurement of segment YE is also given, which is 8. And according to the theorem, if the arcs are congruent, then their corresponding chords are also congruent. If YE is 8, therefore, DK is also equal to 8. Now, let's have the second problem. In circle J, segment JE is perpendicular to segment DK. Segment DK is 10 centimeters long. How far is segment DK from the center if the length of the radius is 13 centimeters? Here is the solution for the second problem. It's given that segment JE is perpendicular to segment DK. Therefore, segment JE bisect segment DK. DK is 10 centimeters long and it is being cut into two equal parts. That's why segment AK is equal to segment AD which is equal to 5. JK is the radius of the circle which is 13 centimeters long. We were asked to solve for the distance of segment DK from the center of the circuit. So that's the measurement of segment AJ. Since we have formed a right triangle, therefore, we will be using the Pythagorean theorem that JK squared is equal to AK squared plus AJ squared. Substitution in the second step, we have 13 squared equals 5 squared plus AJ squared. Performing operations, we have AJ is equal to 12.